This is Chelsea Ave, Riviera Beach. One block off from Inlet. Siding is in good shape. The roof needs, uh, it's older, more faded, kind of looks like my roof at my house currently. Probably on its last leg. Windows have been updated. Siding's in pretty good shape. Ooh. Don't really love this house though, and I'll explain why in a few minutes. Just didn't want to say a lot with the neighbors next door right there. Just doing a quick peek of the outside. Hopefully you can see the roof better from here. Although I'm going downhill, so maybe not. <laughs> probably the best view of the roof I'm gonna get. There's also upstairs uh, some signs. Well, one of the bedrooms has mold on the ceiling, so I'm guessing there's an issue with leaking over there. It's okay. Burp. Hi, doggy. Whoops. Get away from this dog. <laughs> Uh-oh. That poor dog just got in trouble. Jesus, she cannot go after people. I just want to say, I don't mind. It's okay. She looked like she just wanted to check me out. No, like I said, I don't, I don't mind at all. She was, didn't seem that scary to me. So the front door here, it's in good shape. It's painted though. I think it used to have that wood finish. Oh. Nice big open family room, but look at the ceiling. That's what I don't like, because I feel like that's gonna freak out buyers. Nice windows though, all been updated, except the one's broken over there. What's weird is I feel like I was in this house with uh, Jeff and Vivian, actually. <laughs> I think I showed this house to them. So here's the kitchen. I would plan on, I think, just putting in a new kitchen. Well, the cabinets are okay. Maybe you could get away with keeping these original cabinets. Showing. Well, they're definitely not new, but they're okay. We have ceramic tile floor. Half bath here, which I know buyers don't really like it when the half bath is right here in the kitchen, but it's a nice little sink. Okay. So here on the main living room, we, or in the main floor, we have big old living room. Eden kitchen, and then over here is the master bedroom where it also has its own full bath. Oh, it's damn light. Okay. That's my version of lighting it up for you. <laughs> the bathroom. So you have uh, plenty of closet space, four closets. I don't really know where you put your bed at this point with all the vents and the closets, but it's a big room. Then as we go upstairs, got a little area over here with the coat closet. So, three kids' bedrooms. Pretty tiny. All have the sloped ceilings. Not terrible. So for me, this is about 
the ceiling height of the downstairs, which is even over here on the low part, about six feet. Supplemental AC unit, although there are vents up here. And this is where I said I think there's a roof problem. So I want to just put on a new roof. And then bathroom. Your other full bath. So two and a half baths. But I think this is pretty much your main living space because so we go downstairs into the basement. Over this way. There's no light down here. Hopefully this flashlight will stop blinking and actually hold. light works. Basically what you need to know about this basement is right here is a bulkhead. Right here and it's about I could just barely walk under even though I'm wearing three inch heels so it's less than six feet 